Madagascar, where famine strike due to climate change. The Earth is missing a balance we have failed to arrange. Let's work for the environment, cause it's getting so strange. So much for the ideas our leaders have exchanged. Madagascar, where famine strike due to climate change. The Earth is missing a balance we have failed to arrange. Let's work for the environment, cause it's getting so str- So much for the ideas our leaders have exchanged. Madagascar, where famine strike due to climate change. The Earth is missing a balance we have failed to arrange. Let's work for the environment, cause it's getting so strange. So much for the ideas our leaders have exchanged. Thanks for watching so far. Now here comes the second portion of the video. Since it's my original track that I'm playing, I thought it would be helpful if I explained what's going on in it. So let me begin. First off, this composition is structured in a binary form. You have one chunk of melody that we can call A, which is then followed by another that we can call B. 
And after that, this AB sequence continues to appear again and again. So here's the first sequence of the melody A and the melody B. And that was the A and B combined. This track is basically just a repetition of this. The A and B combo is played seven times during the course of four and a half minutes. The chord sequence for this composition is as follows. Each chord signature occupies two beats. E7, D minor, E, E, D minor on A, D minor on A, E on B, E. Let me introduce the instruments now. The melody at the very beginning is played with accordion. And much of the B melody is played with this traditional oboe-like instrument from India called Shanai. And lastly, here's the A melody again. Behind all the synthesizers doing the melody, there is this African drum called Phantom From. It's a funny name, but it's a real instrument. I'll solo the Phantom From every now and then so it becomes noticeable, okay? Okay, so that was a bit about the composition itself. The screen capture that I've been showing you was from Logic Pro, which is the DAW that I produce music on. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation, and I'll be calling Logic Pro just Logic for the rest of the video. For this composition, Madagascar Carry On, I have 22 tracks, each responsible for a musical part, such as the kick drum, hi-hat, bass, and so on. To release this piece of music as a finished product, I mix them down and then master the mix within Logic. On the other hand, in order to play the music live like I did here, I don't mix the tracks in Logic, but instead export them as stems for another dough. What are stems? A stem is a mixed audio file containing a number of individual tracks, typically a few or several of them. In my case, I tend to bundle two to three tracks as one stem for drums, and three to five tracks as one stem for melody and harmony instruments. The bass part, in my case anyway, gets its own stem by itself. So that's what stems are. I export stems so I can use them on another DAW. Now, this DAW is called Ableton Live, and it's suitable for spontaneous actions. It's also supported by numerous dedicated hardware controllers, including the one I'm using, Akai APC40 Mark II. Here's the Ableton project file for this composition. As you can see, there's a bunch of vertical crumbs laid out, each with its own color. The leftmost one in dark brown represents the kick drum stem. I have two individual tracks making the kick drum sound in Logic, and I combined them as one stem for Ableton. Similarly, the fourth crumb from the left in yellow contains the cymbals stem, which was made from the hi-hat, shaker, and crush tracks. The column in pink is for melody stem, made from three parts, including the accordion mentioned earlier. The red one is for the bass. One thing to note here is that we have eight individual cells on a single column. A stem normally means a single audio file, so you will only have one cell representing the stem here. However, in my case, I export the stem in such a way that it's divided into chunks. For example, here each of my stems comes in 8 chunks and that's why we have 8 cells in each of the crumbs. I do it this way so that the composition can be performed from different points. 
if each of your stems comes in a single file, you can only start the piece from the beginning. But by having the stems in multiple chunks, you can have multiple starting points. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a nice one. Bye.